One day, Jesus took his friends, Peter, James, and John, up to the top of a mountain. After they arrived, Jesus' appearance began to change. His face became as bright as the sun, and even his clothes started to shine. In that moment, two very important people from the Holy Scriptures, the Jewish Bible, appeared next to Jesus, Moses and Elijah. They had lived many hundreds of years before Jesus, leading the Jewish people and teaching them about God. But now they were here, talking with Jesus. When Peter saw it, he was overwhelmed and said, Can we stay here? Moses, Elijah, let me build a shed for you to stay in. Before he was even finished talking, a thick fog appeared, and they couldn't see anything. But they heard a voice that said, This is my son, whom I love. Listen to what he tells you. Then the fog disappeared. Moses and Elijah were gone, and Jesus looked normal like he did before. One day, a man brought his son to the friends of Jesus, the disciples. The boy was occupied by an evil spirit that gave him seizures every once in a while. When he had them, he fell on the ground, was shaking, and had white foam coming out of his mouth. The disciples tried to command the spirit to leave, but when they were not successful, they called Jesus. Jesus was frustrated. You people of little faith, how long do I have to be here until you finally start trusting me? When he told the demon to leave, the boy was free at that very moment. A little later, the disciples asked Jesus why they were not able to cast the demon out. And Jesus replied, Because your faith is so small. If your faith was as big as a mustard seed, you could tell a mountain to move, and it would. Trust me, nothing will be impossible for you if you believe in me. Jesus told his disciples that he would be betrayed, killed, and then resurrected on the third day, which made them very sad. One day, Jesus and his friends, the disciples, went to the temple. A temple is a building similar to today's big churches. It was a custom to give a donation for the temple when entering. One of the men collecting this money asked Peter, Why aren't you paying the temple tax? When Peter told Jesus what had happened, Jesus asked him, Do kings take taxes from their own children? No, Peter replied. They take taxes from their citizens, but not from their own family. Why would God's children then pay for visiting their father's house? But let's not give them any reason to accuse us, he replied, and sent Peter away with a task. Peter went to the sea to go fishing. And after a while, he caught a fish. But this fish had a coin inside his mouth. Peter used this money to pay the tax for the temple.